Hi guys, Cranky Cat here. And the Shapester. And we're back with more Man of Medan. We were both terrified last time, but we are going to finish this game. Uh, we're on the loading screen because uh, I'm not sure what we're coming. what's coming up next. Cutscene, probably. So Cut we're scene. straight into it. So. Right. Okay. Oh, we were diving. That's what we were doing. Yes. Uh, I don't like the fact that this part is called Uninvited Guests. I'm not liking Ooh. the sound of that at all. <laughs> But well, we know something's going to happen at some point. It's not yeah. going to stay all it's like... It's not just a happy happy diving happy... trip, <laughs> Exactly, it? yeah. Yeah, shit's going to hit the fan at some point. <laughs> We've got cups of tea with us just to calm our nerves, although knowing us, we'll probably get a jump scare as we drink them, so... Uh... Hopefully not within a loading screen. Continue to take control. That's a woman, so I'm guessing that's you. That'll be me, yeah. Right, so we're back with the guys that are left on the boat, by the looks of it. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second He's in laying it on thick, command. isn't he? He is. Fresh in your cabin, boy. Still a no. <laughs> your well-paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client. Now that's just weird. Requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Fair play for persistence. Uh... Do, you pe do you need to focus? Or fancy a beer? Are you, are you going to go for a beer? Sure. Why not? <sighs> I can't be bothered pissing him off. And if teamwork is involved in this game, we need to keep people friendly. Yeah. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? <laughs> Don't ask a lady about her money. <laughs> you know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself, and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. Uh... Fair enough. Sorry. I've got enough on my plate for the moment. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Can I see our relationship? Yeah, Conrad's just gone down by the looks of it. He has. <laughs> Ever so slightly on that top white line there. So we've got truthful, courageous, motivated, deceitful, guarded, and relaxed. I'm wondering if when they become bigger and more bold... They're like the traits that we've sort of developed. Developed. Maybe. Yeah, that's what we're leaning towards. Mm, so we're a bit too guarded and deceitful at the moment. But this, truthful and deceitful doesn't seem, they don't seem to go together in my eyes, but... No, they don't. But, maybe there's the option to do, maybe that will change and one will become more favoured. Maybe, yeah. All right. Okay. She doesn't like Julia by the looks of it as much. I don't really like Julia. <laughs> Fair enough. She's great considering I'm controlling her. Yeah. Weather looks clear. Good. Doesn't look like it later on. Looks like thunderstorms later on, from what I can see Ooh, there. Eight till midnight. Ugh, of course. Uh, I can't remember how to walk. Oop. What's here? Duke of Milan. 20 miles north of the coast, over. Reading you. How can we help? Over. Um. Ooh. Hmm. No, let's not say anything about the wreck. Looking for a weather report in my area? Over. Got a severe front heading into your vicinity from northwest. Thunder, lightning, 21 knot wind. Lovely. Sounds good. Keep an eye on that. We'll check you in the AM rounds. Over. Thanks. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow then. Over. Or maybe we won't. So it's about surviving the night, maybe. Yeah, looks like it so far. Okay. Gonna talk to him again, or gonna explore other things? Let's talk to him. Oh, can I take this thing over here? Looks like it. Binoculars. The music. Don't like this ominous yeah. music. That was right, like. <laughs> Binoculars. Oh, I was waiting for the jump scare to happen. <laughs> <laughs> no? You're a little bit nervous. You're talking nervously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for stuff to go bad. That's can all. I talk to Conrad again? You Come can. on. Hey there. How's it hanging? 
You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. Uh, let's be playful. It's too bad charm is not among them. Ah, but my charm is like a boomerang. <laughs> you think it's gone right over your head until smack. You're out cold. That makes no sense. <laughs> um... You need to mind the speed limit, Buster. Hey, I like life in the slow lane, too. Nice and slow. I'll see you later, Conrad. <laughs> I hope so. A pint of frosty amber liquid. What's okay. that? Let's just have a quick check what, what that... Conrad successfully, successfully flirted with Fliss. Marvellous. That's hard to say. Wow. Yeah, so he charmed me a little bit there. Should we go and check on what's his face? Yeah, He's I was just thinking we can go and see. Is it Josh? Oh, oh, there was something there. There was something there. There we go. What's in here? Oh. What? Oh. There you go. <laughs> I want to look at it. What, what, what's going on? Did you have on? to hold a button to keep oh, hold of it, maybe? I think so, yeah. So hold R2. Pull it through. Hold R2. Felicite Dubois. Oop. Duff Avenue. Dear Miss Dubois, this letter is a formal notification that you are in default of your obligation to make regular payments on your personal loan. Ooh. Oh dear, so she potentially will lose the... Uh... Duke of Milan? Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. I like her way of dealing with it, just chuck it in a drawer. Yep. <laughs> well, that answers uh, Conrad's question. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. You can be sympathetic. Hey, yeah. Vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. Hmm. Hope they know what they're doing. Hope they know what they're doing. What do you oh. know? I want to know what he knows about the wreck. Okay. Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. Um. What got you into World War II? Just stuff I read about in school. Then I found out my grandpa was in the Navy, got lots of medals. I wanted to understand what he'd been through. Got me hooked. Fair enough. I <laughs> hope they respect the site. Yeah, I, I mm. hope so. I just hope they respect the site. People died there. They understand the rules. They get it. But I'm not sure how much that actually matters to Yeah. Oh, hello. Who's this? Hey, Fliss. Look, there's a boat. Sort of cut us off weirdly there with Josh, but it, it was on a time limit. What's that about? Um, fishing boat. Yeah. Fishing boat, from the looks of it. How should we handle this? Hmm. Be quiet, let me handle it. We are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? I hope that was the right thing to say. Who knows, but. Who are these people? What do they want? We've got divers in the water. Guys, you gotta keep back. We've got divers in the water. That seemed a little bit threatening. I did. It's got dark very sudden. What? What, what is your problem? Hey, we got damage here. You see this? Look at our boat. You fucking we went take into care it. Of this, man, it's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks? Comrade, shut up. Oh, dear. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Comrade. Oh, you dick. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. He does not look right, like he wants to piss around. Bargain, but I'm with you. Really? Yeah. Just throw in the whole pot. Great idea. Oh, great. Uh... So even in, even just a normal situation, why would you behave like that? <laughs> I suppose he's, well, had, he's had something to drink, hasn't he? I think sometimes he's had something to drink, but also the rich 
you know, maybe if you've got lots of money, it makes you more confident. To, maybe. To do Hi. certain things. Continue to take control. Do mm -hmm. I have to? Yep, you do. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. The turret. We can get in through there. Oh, I'd really rather not. Really? Why? Why would you want to do this? I, I know some people love diving, but... Um, we were going to go, actually, weren't we? Yeah. And unfortunately, due to my... Uh, Medical history, unfortunately, can't. Oh, oh great. Could be dangerous. Uh, ladies first? Looks I was like quite it. glad in a way that we just did snorkeling instead. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe Ooh, it? picture. Oh. <laughs> what was that all about? It's a premonition. Found during dive. View it. Let's view it again. So what? Devil in the deep. Okay. Let's just remind ourselves. Of... How many are there as well? I don't know. Let's remind ourselves of this one in case it comes up. So that's Josh. So that's stuff happening on the boat by the looks yeah. of it. How many are there? Is there one that is there space for uh, one in, to the right? No. Oh, oh, yes, there is. There's spe ones to the right. No, no, no. The, uh, That's what I mean. Oh. It's like there's one there, maybe one there as well. Although weirdly, one's not coming up in between those two, so I don't oh, really okay. know what's going on there. Oh. oh, maybe we've missed one already. Maybe Fliss could have found one. It's possible. Wow. Oh well. In any sense, at least we found something. Okay. I don't think we we're going to be hundred percent successful in finding everything, were we? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like it either. What's that? It's a hole. Let's not go in the hole. Oh. Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. Yeah. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Yeah. Maybe it is kind of dangerous. If we didn't have control over her, I'd be expecting her to be like... Really? So we're just going to touch stuff and not really respect the site in any way. Yeah. Well... A secret, found a secret found. Ooh! A shell on the wrecked B-29 found lodged in the plane. So it was shot down. I'm going to have a quick cup of tea while there's nothing that can scare me. <sighs> oh. How many? S wow! With loads of secrets. Bullet holes, all down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. I'm putting my coffee down. <laughs> Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. The tension is... One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Missing lifeboat. <laughs> that isn't what those fishermen were. Who knows? Did you see that guy's eye? I did, yes. And I'm sure he was snarling at he the was, end. Yeah. It was very strange, not like human. I speak English, okay. That one. It's a oh my god, it's a person. Don't oh, so really. Just, just touch it then. Really? really? Are we really going to do that? Well, I don't know. Are you? I can go back. It's your call. You're controlling. Oh, fuck. This is a bad idea. <sighs> oh. Oh. He's holding something. Hmm? Oh, I really don't think we should be doing this. Why didn't I just go back? You're still doing this shit. <laughs> I'm getting in character as Julia. She doesn't seem to have any respect for uh, the deceased. Wow. What the hell happened here? From the look of things, they knew they were goners. Great. He's holding something. Oh, we're going to look at this again. No, I won't look at it again. I was just wondering if that was either like one of the two guys from the tutorial. Hmm. Or maybe he was the guy... Ah, oh, wait, are we in the room? 
Where that guy was holding up the cross at the beginning. I'm not sure. Before he got got. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. What? Wanna go first? No. Oh! Ah, cheap piece of shit. Oh, great. Bearing updated? What's bearing? Oh! She broke the knife. <laughs> Julia had to use the knife to open the cockpit door, breaking it in the pro process. Alex didn't take the bang stick. So these things are going to be important. Proposal. Brad told Alex to think things through. Oh, so these are all important. Yep. Ooh. Well, it's the same as... Uh... What was it? Life is Strange. It's our playthrough. I thought I succeeded with that. Uh, oh, maybe if I hadn't... Could I have not broken the knife somehow, though? How would I have not, not broken Not tried it? to force the door open, I guess. Ooh. <laughs> 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 me too! It got me slightly as well. I just didn't make any noise like you. <laughs> you knew it was coming, though. I mean, come on. Pilot and co-pilot. I want it to be your turn on the controls. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Same. Why are we taking photos of all these dead people? It just feels know. wrong. Why are we even sort of Easy inspecting? Now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really don't like her attitude. No, I don't. I oh, don't pull it about. <laughs> That's really stupid, Julia. Oh, He's probably going to get us stuck oh, now. Just don't touch anything else, please. Stupid girl. I don't like it when it's people okay. have attitudes oh, like that. It's that guy. Yeah, that's what I mean about, like, because she's rich, I feel like she just feels, like, entitled to do things. Is she rich? Have we She's loaded. Yes, they're loaded. Okay. Her and Conrad are loaded. Right, okay. They're, like, paying for this whole... Shebang. Trip, yeah. Well, you've just left am what's I his face be, up there. Am I meant to be going out this way? I'm not even sure which way I'm uh, meant to be going. It looks like he's still up there, so there's more stuff to do. Okay. Oh, but that, you've just abandoned him and he's going to he's gonna die. Oh, well, i got one less character to control. <laughs> oh, and maybe I'm meant to look at this. No? What, what else I? is in here? Oh, you can come towards yourself. Yeah, I know that, but... Oh. Oh. Maybe it was just a timed thing uh -oh. again. Uh oh, it's moving. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is where we find out I should have got out of here. Did we just destroy this wreck? Yeah. What's that thing? Whoa, oh dear. Whew, blind. Oh god, Alex. There's a fucking shark. It's a grey reed shark. Are they okay? Okay, good. Let's go. So we just picked up that letter type thing. Yep. Which I think is what she could, Julia could have reached for. Hmm. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. What? What's wrong? I, uh... What are you doing? Why are you fidgeting? Uh, I don't know, I... I wanted to bring something up with you, but it's... it's not don't propose to me now, it's freaky. Uh, on your brain, buddy. Nothing, nothing. Just kind of shaken up by a little brush with a gruesome and meaningless death. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. Pretty good idea. Okay. Yeah. Hey, seriously, oh. what's going on? <laughs> nothing. Yeah, but you're freaking me out. Just forget it. I shouldn't have said anything. Come on, we've really got to get up top. So that was what I got from saying nothing. Yeah. This is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Oh, of course, let's give a boat. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Yeah, what are we going to find when we get up there? Wait, Julia. we got to decompress here. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Damn! What the fuck? we got to get up there. Wait! We have to decompress. Otherwise, we die. Decompress. Uh, Damn it! Yeah, yes, okay. Because that could be why she. Yeah, okay. 
You know the thing we saw? Yeah. Oh god. Come on, do it then! Look, this is taking too long. Oh god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. We need to do it, otherwise okay, she could die go, from... Go. Right, okay, so she's... Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's alright now. What? Were they barbecuing? Looks like it. There was a little, uh, mishap. It was the right decision. It was. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. What's up with that other boat? <laughs> what was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, <laughs> the front fell no off. Cockpit anymore, for starters. God, well, that's just fucking perfect. Yeah. yeah, great. But was it the dive line thing? Or was it more I the fact it, she was pissing uh, about with it? Well, that, but also it looked like a dive line. Oh, this guy. Hello again. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Yes. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. I like Conrad. Or maybe you'd say... I don't like Conrad. And then there's Captain Fliss. Strong. Forthright, stubborn. I like Fliss. Fliss is alright. I feel like she's you a bit like me. A spark between her and Conrad. Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. Special feature unlocked, apparently. You're doing well. Good. No one's dead yet. No one's dead. I feel like seeing that uh, vision of Julia with, like, sort of, as if she was having a heart problem. Mm -hmm. I felt like that was to problem. do with the decompression lung problem, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like that was to do with the decompression, so. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this storm that's coming in. Because they were diving at about six. Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like travelling through time. No shit. Well, it was like travelling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles <sighs> and sharks. Sharks? It was a grey reef. Ah. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Conrad going to get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank God, all she's of really it. annoying, isn't she? Like she yeah. with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So we've brought a bullet with us. Hello again. Something is up. I want to talk to him. Alex, you're like an open book with a 50 point font. I can read you from a mile away. Something's up. It's nothing. I'm oh, fine. bullshit. You're like Monsignor Mopington over here. <laughs> Julia, are you happy? Well, yeah. Well, yeah, of course. Why would you ask me that? I guess. I'm just kind of anxious about, like, our future. You're a bit of a buzzkill here, you know? dude. Hmm. What's next? Happy future! Hmm. I think we've got a long and happy future together. I do. Really. You know, you're pretty much the best thing that ever happened to me. Aww, are we gonna be nice? Yeah. I love you, Alex. Aww, very nice. You know where everybody is? I'll go get them. Why don't you just chill out here? Hi. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Awkward. Let's go get him. Sure. That's kind of weird behavior. Hmm, it is slightly, isn't it? Oh. There they are. Oh, they've, they've done all right then, by the looks of it. Okay. That sort of... The coaster here. <laughs> 
Coast Guard, the Coast Guard are here. <laughs> what? Everybody flush their meth. We gotta get rid of all this meth. We can't let them take us alive. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Literally. Seriously, you can't fuck around like that, Julia. What's your problem? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Fliss's reaction there was a bit, like, overkill. Like, you're mm. making out with your client. Like, shut up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, they've done all right then, by the looks of it. <laughs> she pushed him away at the, at the very first opportunity, and it still right. worked out like now that. everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. What are we getting? The navigator pad. You all right? You seem kind of preoccupied. What's this? The camera that um, Alex was taking pictures oh, of. Oh, yeah. Not that I can do anything with it. There you go. Ah. So, Aww. Oh, look at it start. Let me just say this once more for the record. Going into that plane was super dangerous, obviously, and twice as illegal. Okay. Now Air rescue service. I'm going again tomorrow, really. <laughs> well, okay. that's it. You're just going to leave it on. Got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Oh. Did I just waste my chance to do something useful there? Possibly. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Oh, we get a little moment with him. Oh, lovely. Easy, Tiger. We should get back. Right here. I don't think the beers would be a good idea with a big storm coming in. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. Hmm. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian, Manchurian gold. gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. You find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever mm. you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Yeah. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Okay. Maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can right, scavenge Cassandra. down there and it makes no hmm. difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Mm. There we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred. You got a fun ghost story, right? Mm. Yeah, sure, but, you know, nothing like what Fliss is talking about. Tell us a tale. Yeah. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. 
key of the one track mind. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twists. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. <laughs> I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. <sighs> so gross. Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns <laughs> to the closet, says, he's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. So the lighthouse keeper <laughs> creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. Fuck off. And then its eyes bulge out. Going you're a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Super twist. Nice. We missed the actual jump scare because mm -hmm. I was pissing about with him. Excellent, Squire. <laughs> cool story. <laughs> you have me going. Pretty cool. I managed to pull that out of my ear as well. Last time. It was a good effort. Okay, you've all had your fun. <sighs> we should all turn in. There's some weather hitting, are we? Uh uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Hey. <laughs> It's standard issue regulatory institutional <laughs> protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> Ten four, good buddy. And I'm out. <sighs> Is it your turn yet? I think it might be. I'll uh, continue to take control. That looks like a bloke. That doesn't. That's. Hmm. It's not. Hmm. Wait, you're not logged in. We no, I wasn't logged in before. You weren't. No. Well, okay, you do it. For you want me to do it? You Let's do see it who we're going to be controlling. It looks like Conrad, so. But then maybe you took Conrad for it because there's five of them, aren't there? No, I gave you three people. Hello, where are these people? Where have these people come from? Um Hey. Who are these people? Hi. These guys again, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Apart from the fact they've just pissed off it earlier on by the sound of it, but then they just drove into them, didn't they? Yes, that guy. Mm, he does not look friendly. He does not look friendly. Look at that eye, as you said. I reckon this might be where the premonition for um, Brad has come from. Hmm. Ah. Who am I going to ungag? Pick someone. Ah, right what? analog stick. Right. Um. It's the right analog stick to do stuff. Yeah.
and gag everyone. Yep. Hmm. What's that all about? Oh, yeah. Let's uh, let's get Julius sorted out as well. Absolutely no idea. <laughs> I want to get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. Untie them first. Guys, we gotta get untied. Like now. <laughs> oh, shit. No, that's not good. Come on. <laughs> shit. Didn't seem like a sensible thing I'll to do. I'll be back for you later. Great, because we're playing with Conrad, aren't we? So we're going to see what's going to happen. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. Lovely. You're the little lady. Unnecessary. Again, unnecessary. I can't do anything here, can I? No. What do you fuckers want? Seriously? What do you want? Just stop. Slow down. Easy. Please. Just stop, man. We finish with him later. Brad is still free, I think. So they haven't found him yet, have they? I'm tempted to just say nothing. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Julia, you're coming back. Hold those scissors. So Brad was in the little room off to the side of where he we was, are. He was, yeah, on the lower... I thought he was on the lower bunk. Yeah, we're in the lower bit. Oh, Jesus, Conrad. Wait, wait, no! Alex! What, Stop what are they no. doing, though? You bastards! Couldn't you just get out of there? Hey. Dipstick. Shut the fuck up. <sighs> I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with them. Uh, did you see my brother? No, I hope he's okay. I guess is what I'd probably say in that situation. You're cool. Yeah. 
No, I didn't. I hope he's all right. All right. Turn around. That's handy they managed to find a pair of scissors to mm. do this, isn't it? Can we use them as weapons? Mm -hmm. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take him by surprise. Hopefully. Okay, they're coming. Fuck. Motherfuckers. What did they do to her, though? Don't know. It's just like pirates trying to get a ransom, mm. I guess. Right, okay, so they're all free. That's lucky. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Say. I'm just gonna go with nothing because I don't really know what to say. What do you think? Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll um. Here, I'll climb out this window. Take a look around. Just scope it out. You guys distract them so they don't see me sneaking. Okay, let's do it. Great. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. We were too slow. What the hell, guys? Oh, she's just gone and done it anyway. Because it was eight seconds. And then seven, seven seconds. It needed to be six, didn't it? Damn. Bollocks, <laughs> never mind. Too late now. I haven't done these yet, so you just press X and yeah, there, just don't press. Don't fuck yourself. Oh, I don't know what to do. Did we make a decision? I did, I pressed. You know what? Oh. We're gonna die by indecisiveness, I yeah, swear. Probably. Did we do anything? I tried to hit escape. Oh, hello. Oh, so you must have hit escape because he's going yeah. for it. We escaped. We got away. Bring them downstairs. <sighs> that was lucky. Use it if you have to. <sighs> Sit down. That was uh over there. Got one less person now though. Mm, true. Sit now. Arrêtez, bande de cons! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la! Ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Oh, ok. Lovely. Olsen! Come here! Which one of you is going to tell me about this 
Manchurian goo. Hmm. Mm. Okay, well that seems like a good point to pause. <laughs> um, I feel like Comrade choosing to escape or attack was probably a big decision there. Mm -hmm. It looks like it. Looks like we um, just managed to escape. Just managed to escape. Um, I sort of feel bad about the whole escaping thing, but at least he might he be able might to, be able to get, get help. help. Exactly. And I think he was talking about like using the boat to escape, whereas if he'd gone and attacked, potentially he would have just gone then. So, yeah. I don't know, it's... <laughs> It's not really clear what the right thing to do was there. I feel but we're... like by just saying nothing a lot of the time, though, we're going to get killed by indecision. Like, this is going to happen. That's what I did in the tutorial. I just went, ah, I don't know, I won't attack, and then got killed. Yeah. Uh, maybe but... we need to be bolder in our decision-making. Who maybe. knows? But, uh, yeah, look out for the next part of Madame Madan very soon. Until next time, bye. See ya.